From the CISO series, it's Cybersecurity Headlines. These are the cybersecurity headlines for Wednesday, December 27th, 2023. I'm Sean Kelly. CBS and Paramount owner says it was hacked a year earlier. National Amusements, the cinema chain and corporate parent of media giants Paramount and CBS, confirmed that hackers stole the personal information of more than 82,000 people. The incident occurred in December of 2022, but the breach filing revealed that it took the company until August of 2023 to discover it. The hackers also stole bank account and credit card numbers along with associated security codes, passwords, or secrets. Paramount disclosed a separate security incident in August in which hackers took names and dates of birth as well as social security numbers of an unspecified number of customers. Rockstar Games suffers alleged source code leak. On Tuesday, reports circulated that a 4GB source code file for Rockstar Games' popular Grand Theft Auto V game has been made public on the dark web. The leaked source file contains 3D models and assets that would likely make it possible to build and run the game. While the initial leak link has been taken down, the source code is now making the rounds on Telegram channels. Rumors are circulating that hackers are considering making the entire 200GB GTA 5 source code file public. There are also indications that the leak may have included confidential employee data of 1,100 of Rockstar Games staff, as well as material related to Grand Theft Auto 6 and a potential sequel to the 2006 game Bully. Lone Care says 1.3 million people affected by November cyber attack. Lone Care, one of the largest providers of loan subservicing, has filed a breach notification indicating that more than 1.3 million customers had information accessed by hackers who breached their parent company, Fidelity National Financial. The November attack left real estate agents and home buyers in the lurch for days because home sales could not be finished. An investigation showed that last month, hackers were able to access and exfiltrate customer names, addresses, social security numbers, and loan numbers. The Elf v. Black Cat ransomware gang took credit for the attack, and the victims are being offered two years of identity protection services. Hackers steal customer data from Europe's largest parking app operator. Easy Park Group has reported to European regulators that hackers stole data from at least 950 Ringo users in the UK. The company said customer names, phone numbers, addresses, email addresses, and partial credit card numbers had been stolen, but that parking data had not been compromised. The company also said its Park Mobile brand, which has 50 million users in the U.S., was not affected. The hack highlights the risk with centralizing parking services to apps and websites, which require user data collection and are rapidly replacing more costly physical meters and parking attendants. And now, a word from our sponsor, Barricade Cyber Solutions. When you're hit with ransomware, remember RecoverFromRansomware.com. Barricade Cyber Solutions' experienced DEFER team is ready to help your business recover from ransomware now. You'll work directly with the CEO to resolve your case quickly and efficiently. Whether you're experiencing a ransomware attack or want to get ahead of one by discussing a prevention plan, contact Barricade Cyber Solutions at recoverfromransomware.com. Ricita Ransomware Group Hacked Hospital in Jordan Abdali Hospital, a multi-specialty hospital located in Amman, Jordan, has been added to the Ricita Ransomware Gang's list of victims on its Tor leak site. The group published images of a sample of stolen documents, including ID cards and contracts. Ricita indicates it will be selling the exclusive data for 10 Bitcoin over a period of 7 days and will only sell it to one buyer. Reseda also stated that reselling the data is prohibited. Last week, the FBI and CISA published a joint advisory warning of Reseda's attacks and included the gang's IOCs and TTPs in the advisory. Integris Health patients get extortion emails after cyber attack. Patients of Integris Health have begun receiving blackmail emails stating that their data was stolen in a cyber attack. The Oklahoma-based healthcare network confirmed they suffered a breach on November 28th that led to the theft of patient social security numbers, dates of birth, addresses, phone numbers, insurance information, and employer information. On December 24th, hackers sent extortion emails to patients claiming they would sell the data to other threat actors if they did not pay the extortion demand. Some Integris Health patients have confirmed to Bleeping Computer that the emails contained accurate personal information. 
CyberFirm publishes 2024 Cyber Threat Landscape Forecast. ReSecurity has issued a report outlining key security threats and challenges anticipated in 2024 based upon its analysis of dark web activity and cybersecurity incident data. The report predicts increased ransomware activity targeting publicly traded companies and using potential regulatory violations as leverage for manipulation and extortion. The report also asserts that critical infrastructure will remain a focal point for cyber attacks, especially energy and nuclear sectors. The report anticipates that AI weaponization will skyrocket demanding innovative countermeasures and international collaboration. Additionally, cities that have adopted smart technologies will need to actively secure IT OT supply chains and protect the identities of their citizens. Finally, the report predicts a proliferation of attacks against digital identity, leading to unprecedented large scale data breaches. African organizations aim to bolster cybersecurity in 2024. African nations are faced with numerous cybersecurity threats and challenges while lacking adequate cyber training. This month, the University of Lagos, the American Business Council in Nigeria, and several private companies launched a virtual cyber hub to strengthen cybersecurity in Nigeria and help train young workers. In the next few years, the collaboration aims to build capacity to address immediate cybersecurity needs, create sustainable collaboration and partnership frameworks, and to promote joint research projects between academic institutions and businesses. The long-term goals are to make Nigeria self-sufficient in terms of cyber and to develop homegrown cyber solutions. Back in July, the Biden-Harris administration announced a collaboration with the Cyber Safe Foundation to develop an African-specific effort to train cybersecurity workers with a focus on creating opportunities for women. And that does it for today's cybersecurity headlines. I'd like to wish you and your families a very safe, happy, and healthy new year. We'll be back in the new year with our Week in Review show on Friday, January 5th, running down the top cyber stories from the week with expert insights from our guest, Jonathan Johnson, CEO at Nemertees. It starts at 3.30 p.m. Eastern, 12.30 Pacific, and you can register to join us live and share your own hot takes on our stories. Just head to CISOseries.com and click on Events to register. Thank you for listening. I'm Sean Kelly, reporting for the CISO series. Cybersecurity headlines are available every weekday. Head to CISOseries.com for the full stories behind the headlines.